Suppose you need to do the same calculation over and over, but you don't want to keep retyping it every single time. Well then, you can create a function. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? A programming function allows you to do any type of calculation or programming inside of it. Let's jump into an example so you can see what I mean. Say I want to calculate how much money I should spend on a tip. Seabass and the fellows offered to pick up our check. They said just put it on their tab. But I don't want to have to type out a number nope. times 0.15 every single time. So I create a function that takes in a number and will do that calculation for me. To do this, we write def, which stands for define, the name of the function, which we can call whatever we want. And in this case, let's call it tip underscore calculator, parenthesis, any variable we put inside will be input. So we close our parentheses and now we add a colon. It is important to note Python's emphasis on spacing here. Welcome to the space jam. Every time you want something to be inside of a function, you need to space over the correct amount of times, four spaces for each level. So to do a calculation as part of this function or inside of this function, I need to hit the space bar four times before I type anything. And now we type return with X, the number we input, multiplied by 0.15. And now over here in IPython, we can type run, and now we can give type calculator any number we want. So type calculator of 20 will be the exact same as doing 20 times 0.15. Now let's say we want things to be just a tiny bit more complicated. Suppose on meals that cost greater than $50, you usually tip 20% instead of 15%, and you want to include this inside of your function. We can, just by using a simple if statement. Inside of our function, we will write if. I said if. Oh, if. Then a condition. In this case, x greater than 50, colon. And now in the next line, we want it to occur inside of the if statement, so we must make sure we are indented for spaces. But it looks like it already did that for me. And now we can write return x times 0 0.20. So basically, if the condition is met, do what is inside of the if statement. Now, if the condition is not met, or in other words, x is not greater than 50, we want to just do the regular 15%. So we will type else colon, and inside that we can do our normal return 0.15 times x. Going back to our code in IPython, Tip calculator of 20 will return the same thing as 20 times 0.15, and tip calculator of 51 will return the same thing as 51 times 0.20. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please click subscribe. Here are two other videos that I think you'll enjoy.